Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back for some more EVE Online and welcome back also to CC, the test server for EVE Online. It's been a while since I made a video on CC, but CCP has deployed a first iteration of the community fittings and I think that's very interesting with a lot of potential and uh, I thought I would cover that in a video. I'll give you guys my first impressions on that as well because uh, right now it is a rather limited feature that is even rather tricky to find i had to go look for where do i find these community fittings at the moment because you have to go to the fitting window and then you actually have to use these filters up here which are personal filter uh, fittings filter then you get the corporation fittings and here you have the community fittings then you still have your current hull and then filter on skills uh, so you've got plenty of options but uh, my very first impression here sure this will be findable for veterans but for a really new player that's in like his first week of eve online i think if you don't point them directly at this option they are never going to find it in the current version on cc so keep in mind this is the test server and definitely subject to change and will in all likeliness change substantially um, this is what uh, ccp has made available basically the tech one exploration frigates and a couple of fits for the venture as well so if we take a look at what's in here right now i think these will come from the player base if, uh, there is a sub forum that is called community fittings where you can uh, post your fits uh, and discuss them maybe take a look at what's available as well but having done that and having uh, taken a first look at this on cc uh, as well in preparation of this video i must say this is really very heavily focused on new players uh, tech one uh, frigate fits things like that couple of transport ships but nothing end game nothing really high end uh, at this point it may change in the future but right now it's stuff like this here is a starter exploration fit which is nanofiber internals, full tech one with a damage control one, a uh, relic and data analyzer, uh, a micro -op drive, a self drill one, not sure what that one's doing there, but then also a core probe launcher. So this is obviously, uh, if you want to start out as a new player with exploration, couple of relic and data sites with a few good drops can make a very big difference. And this is just a cheap, easy fleet for you. Uh, to just get started on that activity after that we've got an upgrade with a uh, bit more speed with the uh, type d restraints here still the tech one relic and data analyzer micro drive core probe launcher and then a couple of small gravity capacitor upgrade ones and i don't even know by heart what these do increase the ship's scan probe strength so perhaps giving you an easier time finding the signatures after that we we get the hair on uh, even the starter exploration fit will show a lots of potential i think with those extra mid slots that's like a really big difference compared to the other ships and i think why the heron is a very 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 popular exploration ship so here they added two scan range finding arrays and then the tick one version uh, we basically have the same but with two salvagers uh, even quicker probe scanning and still the tick one versions this is really focused on the newer players after that we've got an imicus very same uh, philosophy a bit more all around right an extra mid slots tr uh, one less low slot than the amar version but it's gonna be pretty solid all around and that's when it gets interesting here is the tick one version and we actually find our first active tank with a small accommodation vestment reconstructor so this is a different philosophy from, for instance, the Amartic one version where they're going for speed. Get in, get out as quickly as possible. Here, you might even be able to sustain some small belt rats or something like that. And it also has a, a, a cargo scanner. All right, not sure what that one is doing there. Is there anything better to put here? Uh, who knows, perhaps a little bit of extra shield HP or something like that. Um, but uh, yeah completely different philosophy in the sense that you actually have a, an armored tank here and then finally for the probe again uh, for three in the mids and lows so that's that's basically the same but then the tick one version here has warp core stabilizer ones so this one is maybe the first one that you would risk in wormhole space because at least if you're 
caught by just one person, uh, you might still have a chance to get out. Uh, after that, still one ship to look at, that is the Venture. So of course, if you want to start out with mining as well, the Venture is a great ship to start on that. You've got some minor ones here, a bit of extra shield tank, and again with the extra structure. And then uh, for the Tech 1 version, this actually has the mining laser upgrade. I think that's actually very important to point him towards that the low slots can be used to increase your yield, but then you also have the rigs with extra shields uh, so that uh, they have at least somewhat of a buffer to defend themselves in the slots you have hobgoblin ones against the local rat so these fits make a lot of sense but you can clearly tell that this is highly highly focused on uh, newer players uh, maybe a little bit of feedback my very first impressions looking at this as i've said uh, it feels a little bit hidden right just a filter inside the fitting window is not gonna be that intuitive for new players to find i think so uh, as i mentioned i think it would be a good idea to point them towards this option uh, as part of maybe their tutorial or like their first few days of EVE Online experience and um, they need to uh, have a little bit of time to actually digest all of this. I think looking at these different fits and the different philosophies behind them, it, this will not be that easy for a new player to figure out that, all right, this Amar ship has extra low slots and they're actually using that for speed. And then here we have the Galente version uh, that's actually using an active armor tank and that is going to deplete its capacitor and then finally you've got a probe that's something completely different as well that's using the warp core stabilizers to still give itself a chance to get out of trouble if it was to ever be caught not exactly the ships that are ready for wormhole space but i think you can see that uh, you know you've got some speed you've got some active tanks perhaps you can uh, give that a go as a really early player if you're feeling like risk is your game but different philosophies that just looking at this may not be immediately understood so i'm not sure how uh, ccp wants to handle that you could i think go for speed across the board as well um, or decide on what would be the most new player friendly philosophy of the different options and then try to focus on that for the other ships as well it's fitting it's one of the most difficult and complex uh, topics when it comes to EVE Online even I am a terrible fitter uh, of my ships so I do understand that CCP wants to uh, provide new players with um, with options and and with maybe like guides or at least ideas to stay away from some of the really big mistakes that we sometimes hear like right, mixing your weapon systems or having both a shield and an armor tank both active <laughs> those are pretty damn bad ideas but uh, really new players of course can still make those mistakes and perhaps these community fittings can be a good answer for that but that's when i also want to give a little bit of a warning as i've said these are just a couple of fits in one single uh, aspect of EVE Online, a couple of really early uh, game exploration frigates and you already have very different philosophies in those different fits. If they go too quickly with the amount of fittings that they'll put in the community tab, it is going to become overwhelming for new players and completely miss the mark, I think. So perhaps even keeping it to just this and then maybe a few mission uh, take one uh, frigate variants or something like that could still be added, but don't start to also add in destroyers, cruisers, and maybe even battleship fits uh, of on players that just start out EVE Online. It's gonna be too much for them to explore, too many different variations in possibilities for them to to wrap their heads around early games so that's i think a real danger when it comes to these community fittings especially like this with just one filter and then a tab there you go uh, that it could become super overwhelming for new players very quickly perhaps if CCP finds room for more iteration, they could put in more specific tabs or maybe a more advanced filter that you could get advanced fittings, perhaps abyss fittings and then eventually PVP fittings, but so that a rookie can also click on something and find the ships that are meant for him, uh, where they don't have too many options, too many different philosophies, too much information all at once. I think that could be a real uh, drawback of these community fittings if they go full bore on that and just put too much information into that uh, aspect of the game. 
overall, I think it's really cool. I think it has a lot of potential. And if CCP manages to narrow it down enough and to keep their focus, I think this can help newer players a lot as well. So I'm liking this. Definitely make sure to take a look at this on a CC for yourself, especially if you're a newer player. That could be very handy. And if you want to see what uh, else the, uh, the player base has already suggested, go take a look on the forums. It's the first... Uh, information portal uh, the first uh, part of the forums and then you'll find a, a section called community fittings highly highly focused on new players but i think this be wants to get started on this and so any feedback i think will be very welcome and that's going to be this quick video on this topic love to hear your feedback in the comments as well but for now thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all next time